November 1999, the London Eye, which was intended to be a millennium project, wasn't quite finished. They were still attaching the 32 passenger capsules. However, by 2003, we were able to board one of those capsules and find ourselves 150 metres up in the air. Each air-conditioned capsule holds about 25 people and uh, to account for all tastes, they don't include a number 13. At this height you can clearly pick out such landmarks as St Paul's Cathedral. It shouldn't be called a ferris wheel as it's only supported on one side using a cantilever construction. Although it was designed in the UK, the steel components were assembled in the Netherlands. The cables came from Italy, the capsules from France with glass from Venice, and the spindle and hub were made in the Skoda works in the Czech Republic. Rather like the Eiffel Tower, it was only meant to be a temporary structure, but prior to COVID, it was attracting over three and a half million visitors a year so it appears it will operate for some time yet.